have a banner with ESPN, uh, it being senior day. Uh, this is obviously a unique season because the NCAA has said anybody who wants to continue playing this season won't count against them. Have you had those conversations with your guys who would otherwise in a normal year be reaching their senior year? And, and do you expect any of them to, to use that extra year of eligibility to return? Uh, I have, of course, have had those conversations, and I do uh, expect uh, several of these guys to come back and, and super excited about that, you know. I mean, we've got some that I think, you know, have already made that decision uh, that we, you know, they already know they're coming back and, and they're not going to, you know, come down the hill for like their last time. But we do have a few that still aren't 100%. They're kind of leaning to coming back. But, you know, uh, we want to go ahead and honor them, uh, kind of like we did Christian Wilkins, if you remember. You know, he was a senior graduate already, and he wasn't a hundred percent sure if he was coming back, and so we went ahead and honored him as a senior. And and then, you know, as we all know, he decided to come back. Um, so we got a few of those guys, three or four, that I think are kind of leaning to maybe coming back. That we will go ahead and honor because they're just not a hundred percent. But we'll see. Uh, so. You know, again, that's another, you know, one of those silver linings, uh, you know, that, that for some of these guys, I think will be an opportunity for, for them to uh, even better position themselves uh, for the next level. Is, it, is there any names that you can share on that? And also, how, how do you guys plan to address sort of the roster crunch that will inevitably follow this, whether it's not next year, but the year after or beyond? Yeah, well, this year doesn't, there's no crunch this year because, you know, None of these guys count against you. Any senior that comes back this year, none of them count against you. Uh, as far as moving forward, um, you know, I don't think it's – I think it's still what – you know, right now, if, if uh, you know, whatever, whoever's on the roster this year, eventually they're going to have that choice. And if, and if they come back, you will have to count them in the 85. Now, I do think, uh, according to our compliance, that there's some conversation of, of not having to count those guys, you know, until this, until this roster, you know um, – you know, graduates out of here, but you know, uh, we'll just have to cross those bridges when we come to it. Uh, you know, but it's really to me, it's more the 22 class that I think is probably the most affected right now, looking at our roster. But um, you know, I mean, I still think it was the right thing to do. And no, I'm no, I'm not I'm not going to get any names or any of that from our guys. You know, that's those are private conversations, and like I said, there's a few of them that. Y'all will probably figure out that have already decided they're coming back, and, and, and there's some others that just hadn't made that decision yet that I think will come back.